you come back. So, I have a special guest with Molly. She's featured on my channel like, how many times? Once. Oh my god, my nose. Only once. Which is yeah, pretty, the one video we did. pretty sad. <laughs> um, this video is, um, was, it, uh, was prompted by when we were at DragCon. We had about 15 people come up to us being like, why did you guys do more videos? And like that last video, I love that video. And we were like, really? Okay, okay. We were both so convinced it was so shit. It was so shit. It was so shit. So, shit. so anyway, we're here back today. We're not doing makeup because um, I just don't know what you guys like think that we can do. Yeah. Like, it's always hard sitting down and just having to... And like, we're, we'll do the same look again. We'll ask the same questions again. It's just going to be the same video. So we want to kind of like jazz it up a bit. But she, I do think that she's going to be coming back um, a little bit more often. I'll be back here, baby! But we'll have to wait and see. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, whether you want to see her, what you guys feel about the vibes. Okay, so let's um, let's just have a bit of a combo. But what's happening with that shirt, Sophie? Oh my god, okay, I'm wearing my lobster shirt. And I'm wearing my cream, which well, not mine. And if you're watching this, sorry. That's what happens. We're ever bitter about that goddamn shirt. We're so somewhat connected in our fashion choices right now. When you leave, you're stuff fine. But yeah, so we're doing a bit of an ode to Kramer. If you guys don't watch Science Girl, I have no idea. Um, but yeah, Kramer, Kramer for the win. And also, our backdrop. Kramer for president. Oh, what was it? No, it wasn't Kramer for president. No, the Kramer. It's just the Kramer. Interesting. Um, um, our backdrop. What's our backdrop? It might be... We might be in the Sahara Desert. Who knows? We'll just figure it out as we it go. It should be in Kramer. It'll be here in his technical dream coat. Okay. Walking down the street. <laughs> I hope it works. Right behind us. It will work. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we're here today. I asked you guys yesterday on Instagram and Twitter to ask us some questions that you guys wanted us to answer. Didn't get a whole lot. Maybe like 20 or so, but they're pretty good All questions. Right. We'll kind of make it like, we'll string it out a bit. But we're just going to be doing that today. Also, let us know in the comments like what you guys want to see us doing in this setting. Like whether you want us to kind of just like sit down each week, yeah. have a bit of like a debrief, like talk about what we've been doing and like what we've kind of what we've been really enjoying and like maybe like those sorts of videos could be cool. Um, because if you guys don't know, we did try to start a podcast, but it, I don't know. Like it was cool. Like, it was fine. Like it was fine, but like we just never did it again. We just didn't do it again because there wasn't much incentive to do it again because we got like two two viewers. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, you know what I rewatched for the fiftieth time the other night? Mamma Mia! I don't know why you like that shit so much. How do you not like that movie? It's just such a random choice. Oh, it's so good. Like, it's good. Like, it was chill, but like, they're doing another one. I know, it's gonna be sh Question time! Bing, bing, bing! Question time! Alright, so we'll ask you guys on Twitter. Yeah. Ask us some questions. Whatever you guys feel, ask us. So, we have a bunch of questions here, so let's get started. First question is from Gaga Cake. I have a feeling that we met hey, this person hey, at hey. DragCon. If we did, hello to you. His question is thoughts on um, Gaga 5'2. Oh my god, I watched it twice. I watched it once and then I was like, I can't go back to the real world right now. I need to be invested in Gaga. So I watched it again. Like, it was, it was so good. I didn't have any expectations, but I didn't think it was going to be bad, but I did not think it was going to be that good. It was no, so good. And I think the reason it was so good is because, like, the way it was shot. Yeah. And the way, like, the music, like, not even her music, but just, like, oh, so the, the track was just, like, so good. And that scene where she was showing her grandma, Joe, oh, and, like, God. tears. Cried. Tears. Um, okay, next question is from Babe Buffon, Buffonet. Al. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Who were some of your people to meet at Drag Con New York City and some people you didn't get to meet but wish you did? Um, okay, so, Drag we, Con. We didn't meet a whole lot of people. We didn't meet, like, anybody. And, like, we met you guys, but not, like, any of the queens. Purely because the lines were just fucking good. Yeah, for that sure. That was our first time at Drag Con, and I was, like, not shocked, but I was just, like, the lines were, like, four hours long. I wish we saw Amanda before. Wish that would be cool. around when we saw her. Um... We were kind of, yeah, we were only there for the first day, we were supposed to go for both days, but we got super sick. We got very, very, very sick, which you woke up and we were like, sucked, what? like, seriously sucked so hard. Um, but we literally met, like, maybe 1,500 of you. Like, we met so oh many of you guys, we were it shook it. insane. Shook it. Like, I was shocked at how many of them, like, and people who were, like, genuinely so excited, like, they had, like, <laughs> lines at some point. No, there was this one guy who was, like, <coughs> literally losing his shit. And I was like, you were the best person ever. Sweet. 
Like I was dying. It was so weird. Anyway, so we didn't really get to meet a whole lot of people, but we do wish we got to meet a little before. That would be cool. Um, okay, next question. What happened to posting once a week? Is that you? What? <laughs> when did I ever say I could post once a week? I don't know, but I reckon that was a good idea. I sh oh, obviously it's a good idea, but it's like, literally, when did I ever say I could post once a week? I feel like you did. I feel like I never, I've been so conscious of saying I'm, I've never, I'll never post like a, a certain time. I feel like you've done that to me, but then you haven't said it to others. You're like, I'm going to post once a week, and then the next day you're like, oh, I'm pretty good with it this time. Anyway, you know what? F*** you, Fiji water sports. <laughs> like, you try, bitch. Okay, next question is from Ma Patrick Michael, revolving style. Yeah, boy. trends in two different hemispheres and how you interpret what happens up here with opposite seasons. So he's obviously in the States and we're down here in Australia. I mean like, well if they're going into winter, they, they're, they're ahead on like the winter fashion trends. So when yeah. it comes to winter with us, we kind of, we're a late on it. That's why it always feels like it's a bit lacking here. I, I do it agree. personally. I've never been too thrilled with Australian um, like fashion weeks or anything. They've never Designers. been like, like I don't even have like a favourite fashion design. Um, Australian fashion designer. Mostly, I find that down here, um, because obviously, m not in most parts, but quite a few parts of Australia, you don't see winter. We don't have winter. Yeah. And they're like mostly like florals, yeah, that kind of stuff. That's yeah. what I appreciate about American fashion, or like just the the trends in the states, is that you get the up, you get the contrasts. Whereas here, I don't think we do as much. <laughs> Woo. Okay, next question is from. Ava, Starry Ava, how was your drag queen experience and would you go again? Drag queen experience was, was really good, I had a lot of fun. Like we said, we were sick. That first day was kind of a bit of a faking it day, fake it till you make it. Yeah, we were feeling, we weren't feeling like as bad, but we were feeling a bit, yeah, sickly. Um, um sucked, but it was, away from me, sorry. but it was good. It was still a lot of fun. I, I think, fun. I think if I was living in LA or New York, I'd go again, but like, that trip just for it was yeah yeah it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot going across the country um across the world <laughs> yeah across the world sorry just for drag con like yeah it, it was fun but at the end of the day it's kind of like you know and like it we like I just don't think that I don't think I I personally don't think I'd go again I think like I think if I was living in yeah the area like, once I would go to L A I would go to L A like it wasn't okay. enough. I found it very overwhelming. It was. It was a lot. Um, but it was fun. It was really cool. And it was like, yeah, it was crazy how many people were there. It was wild how many people were there. Um, okay, next question is from Arby Ties. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Arby. His question is, Hi. <laughs> Full stop. Hi, Arby. How's it going? What's up? Woo. It got your question in my Yo. Alright, next question. That's, yeah, all, that's all the time you get, Arby. Um, okay, next question is from underscore Yasha Lee underscore. Um, <coughs> how do you guys know what you want to study for university? Never got that question before. Um, well, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Basically, I kind of just didn't really um, have any other choice. Oh, I don't know any choice. I just wasn't good at anything else. Well, tell me what you did. Oh, well, I studied, I studied fine art at university. I didn't finish it. I dropped out. Was it for you? So I obviously didn't know what I wanted to study uni because I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just that was just yeah. Well, you liked art and you thought it was the a choice. choice. It was yeah. kind of an all round. And it was good. It just like wasn't um, the school wasn't what I was hoping for. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I do photography currently. I'm just finishing my first year, and I guess I just I don't know. I like photography, so I do photography. Yeah. Kind of it. I think I think that question is kind of more based around like academic courses, you know, because I, I, yeah. I know a lot of people who really struggled to figure out what they wanted to do because they were doing like business or like mm. marketing or something. Mm. So that sense is like, I have no idea. But when it, that was never even an option because when it's a creative thing, it's kind of like, well, just what you know what to do, mm. I guess. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, so that's that. And yeah, that's that. And yeah. Okay, next question. Oh, another one. This chick got two weird 
Oh, three. Oh, bitch. <laughs> well, I, we appreciate it. Uh, they're actually good songs. They're actually good questions. Okay. Another one from Yeshali underscore. Um, Sophie, what apps do you use to edit your photos? And so the ones that have shapes and what are some tips on how to take good photos? It's a good question. Um, I don't use any apps. Like back, back, back in my old yeah, she's Instagram. Yeah, she's so old <coughs> um, I used to use an app called Line Camera, I think. But that's if you go heaps back and I was doing heaps of collages and everything. But now with all my photos, I just do Photoshop. I don't really go um, into any apps. Now. Yeah. Most of your photos, most of your photos, or photos on Instagram are like legit photos. Yeah, they've actually been like edited through Photoshop and everything. But that's just kind of like hop on there, man, play around. Mm. That's how I want. So whatever. And then we'll show up. Do you have any tips on how to take good photos? Oh. Good camera. <laughs> um, I mean, there's no real tips on how to take a good photo. I could go into like three hour. Oh yeah. Well, like, I mean, the tips are like photography. The obvious ones, like good lighting, good camera. If the, the lighting is always number one, and like you can have, you can have an amazing um, uh, composition and subject, but when it comes down to lighting, that's like always the number one thing that they drill into your head. It's kind of like lighting. What even if it's not like studio lighting like this, you always have to be conscious of lighting. And like, literally. I will not take a photo for Instagram. And like, literally, I will not take a photo for Instagram unless the lighting like is bomb. Yeah, unless I have sure. all five fucking huge lights on my face, or unless I'm like in front of like a really bright window, I'm not just gonna take photos because I know it's not gonna work. Yeah, and also you don't you have to have like well these are just like eBay lights that Lucy yeah. uses. Um, but if you're not wanting to do like lights like that, like. Even just like buying a reflector is always really good mm. as well. Mm. Like using natural light. I use natural light like a lot when I take my selfies. Yeah. Go to uni. Figure it out there. <laughs> Go to uni. They'll <laughs> freaking pound it into you. Light hammer. Okay, next question. Oh my god! Chazzy! Hey Chazzy. Okay, this one's from Bitch It's Chabby. <laughs> Sherry Kills. Sherry Kills. Okay. What are your thoughts on the drag scene in Melbourne in comparison to the scenes in New York, America? Who are some fave Melbourne queens? Um, okay, so. It's hard to answer that question because I know Melbourne scene, but I don't know the American scene like we do in Melbourne scene. Like, not like first hand, like actually going. Yeah. I've only been to one show in New York. And it was like, it was really, it was... The different, the main difference I find is that it's a lot more chip. At least the show I went to, it was really, really good. And I really enjoyed it. It was just a lot more chill. Yeah. Here in, especially here in Melbourne, bitches take that shit so seriously. And I'm not saying that in New York they don't, but it's kind of like, I think, I think the difference is like, um, the whole production of the show is. A bigger priority it's yeah of the night of the whole night and they there's a they, they kind of take it into like a whole it's like a whole show here yeah like the whole night everyone's like involved and it's like a show yeah but um, from what I take from you it's probably just like more focused on like um, piece by piece piece by piece and just like um, also the one I went to was just like up and coming queens like you know there's like obviously like real like legit like not like I'm not saying you know, but like um, the staple queens in New York yeah who like work every single night and they know what they're doing and they're going I don't th I just think drag is much of a muchness like a drag show is a drag show is a drag show yeah. is a drag show yeah and it's all good but also we have to take into consideration that queens over there are working for tips. Queens over there are working for tips. But in here, it's just like you get your, you get your pay. You get your pay. Everyone gets paid the same. Yeah. So it's kind of like more of like a unit, unified thing, whenever it's performing together. Yeah. So I think queens over there, it's just like, you know, you you're on, you're on your you're own. You're on your own. Hustle, get um, them tips. Cause we don't, yeah, we don't tip it. Um, yeah. So thank you, Cherry, for that question. Thanks, Cherry. Okay, next question. Oh my god, we met her! She was like, Oh my god, we were really so gorgeous. I truly shook her when we met you. I remember like seeing you walk down the thing, I was like, Bitch. And then you ran across, I was like, Bitch. I know, I was the same. So I went to fuck yeah. Gorge. 
March. Okay, yeah. my question is, hi, I'm one of the queens you met Jack on. How was your experience? Who were you hoping to meet and who or what began your interest in makeup? Okay, so you answered the first two questions. How was your experience? How was fun? Who were you hoping to meet? Men or Yeah, men or Um, and, and what or who began your interest in it? Makeup, 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 makeup. I think it was just like a, like a natural progression in our artistic journeys. Or drag race. Drag race. <laughs> There's the answer to that one. Start watching Drag Race, start doing makeup. And then you're like, oh, what is that? And then I was like, what? No, and we talked about this. I was like, Sophie, watch Drag Race. She's like, I'll hate it. I was like, okay, fine. And then she's like, and the full of that English, Japan, we have to know really like that. I was like, okay, sure. And then fast forward, here she is, thinking that she's someone. Bitch! skin with you because Lucy's skin is as clean as a baby's bottom which is skin? covered in shit. <laughs> um, so no I think it's just my skin doesn't break out from certain things I don't think <coughs> so I wouldn't are you laughing at me I just go oh. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> <you're> like <coughs> I'm like yeah okay sure I'm um, telling stuff that as I'm like general so it's kind of like you just kind of gotta go for it. I mean, you can always research and see if other people like reviews. I always review I, makeup before I yeah bother. So I guess I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, um, no. Can I please put in my two cents? Is I would let me talk. Love to hear you. Generally, what I find breaks me out is if I don't wash off my makeup. So yeah. the makeup itself, it's the washing off that's important. You gotta do double muscle cleansing, especially if you're doing the Krylon like drag makeup, man. You can't. Sometimes I was so bad with that. No, so bad. <laughs> you wake so up and I'm like, oh. I know, and that is what will break you out. If you leave it on overnight, you sleep in it. Like it's fine if you're going out in it, but yeah, don't let it fester because that stuff is so cool get like, coverage. Makeup wipe, and then wash your face. And then toner is always really good to get all the residue off as well. Toner and then just like lather up some moisturizer to like really get the and then it all. whatever your skincare routine is. But yeah, just wash up your makeup. I think that's the number one. Unless you have really sensitive skin. I've had like mm, my nails. I know. I don't know why you do this to you. This one's look good. Yeah. Well, this one's okay. Anyways, keep going. Um, I've had like cleanses and stuff wash me and break me out as opposed to makeup. Yeah, that's always the cleanses. Time. Cleanse like, like skincare is the thing for me that I have to be super super careful about. Yeah, because that shit is temperamental. Man, skincare is a motherfucker. It is. Ah! Just fucked my arm out of my arm here. Out of my look how tan Lucy is compared to me. Ew! I'm like such a white. Ah! Okay, next question. This is actually a really good question. I bet you're a doctor. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out what's my answer and I can't figure it out. Okay, what is it? Are you ready? Yeah. This question is from Peach is Triple Six. Fun. <laughs> Peaches. So true. Oh yeah, Peaches. Okay, bring up Christina. Britney Spears or Christina Aguilera? Agul Aguilera? Aguilera. Aguilera. Ah, I feel like Britney for overall aesthetic purposes and of course, but Christina has more for me personally she has more bangers than me. I agree. Uh oh that's a really really I have bold to statement but I, I have agree. to say personally I, I think I because yeah. I like to listen to music that I can sing to. I can't sing to Britney. I can't sing to Britney. Christina here's a picture of Christina. Oh Christina Woo! Okay next question is from artistry dot bray. Hey Queen Alright, so what are you guys' fave IG pages or YouTubes to follow? We were just talking about this, Sophie has one. Ah, uh, 
and ready to go. Just real quick while she's doing that, it's food related. One of my favorites to follow on the Instagram are like the food channels, like the food Instagram pages. Where they do like quick like little 30 oh. seconds. Oh my god, like it just looks so good. The amount of videos I have saved, like future references, and they're all like mac and cheese related. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like I'll do that recipe at some point. It's like, <laughs> so good. But like, no, but like my, my current obsession for YouTube is this chick, um, her YouTube's called How to Cake It. She has like a 3 million subscribers, so she's quite big. But she makes like those massive cakes out of like fondant and like just good shit. So satisfying to watch. But Instagrams, um, hold up. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. Back up. Stop. <laughs> what? I don't want to show you. Why? Because I want to save it for the... Oh, can I talk about mine? Yeah. Okay, one of my favorites <laughs> to follow on both Instagram and YouTube lately, I just found him. He's so funny, because like, oh, he's no. Drew Phillips. <laughs> So funny. He is so funny. I will <laughs> link him down below. Go follow him on YouTube. Follow him on Instagram. He's hilarious. I wish I could watch his videos just like on end, but he does a thing where he turns the bass up really loud. It's really like yeah, it's like, 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 like this stupid oh like vine. I hate it. And I'm just like it's giving me so much anxiety. I can't watch it. But I love him. Both of us um have just come across these two girls. Well, I already knew. So what here I knew. Um, Joanna Spicer and Hayley Blaise. Hayley Blaise. Um, so Joanna Spicer and Hayley Blaise, they have a podcast, go for it, let's do it, Friday Night In. They also both have YouTube pages, which is so funny. They're so good. We love them. So those are our faves. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Another question from Ice Also, what does your creative process look like and are there any in things in particular you find inspiring? <laughs> <laughs> creative process is, is a question right now. Creative process is extremely temperamental. Mm. If someone has like a solid creative process, it doesn't exist. It doesn't no, it doesn't exist. They're lying to you. Um creative process is just like really trying to like spend our whole entire 24 hours of the day 24 7 trying to muster up a creative process um and it may happen two out of the 24 7. it may happen it may only happen three three two three hours out of the day two days a week as opposed to 24 hours a day oh seven. yeah oh fuck i wish i had like creative inspiration all the time i, know, I would be like the president by now i would be a <laughs> okay, um, Leah Berger or Berger has a uh, hey, Burger. Hey, Bergie. <laughs> what are your tips for aspiring drag artists? Um, uh, my tips are just do it. Just do it. <laughs> Not in like the Shia LaBeouf way, but like literally. Mine's in the Shia LaBeouf way. Okay, well, yours can be. Mine's in the Nike way. way. You get both ways. Mine's, mine's independent towards myself. Um, literally just do it. That's Whatever what you want to do, just fucking do it and put it out there. Um, Jake Federer. <laughs> Jake Federer, you got some pop and highlight. Oh yeah, damn. Okay, so his question was, this is an interesting one, we have had this one. Mm -hmm. Was it easy moving down to Melbourne? It was actually <coughs> way easier than I thought it would be. Yours but, was easy. But at the same time, I already had a house to move into and I was good. She moved so, straight in with me. No dramas. No <laughs> dramas. At and all. then she already had like all the necessities, like a washing machine and like a fridge. Oh, and we already had a place, so it was like too easy. So for her, it was easy. Yours was just the, at the beginning of the year. Mine was just like, yeah. Mine, the only stress was like moving away from home. But even then, so like, it was kind of like, what? No, it was really fine. It was. Um, also, because I had like a solid reason to be down here as well. Yeah. So yeah, I think mine was pretty smooth. I mean, either way, it's going to be a bit stressful, but... Oh, moving interstate, yeah, for sure. But, um, mine, I kind of, can, like, literally can't even remember. Yeah. Mine was, like, what was it, like, three years ago? God, I can't remember. Oh, um, it was something like that. I feel like it was pretty okay. Like, it was pretty chill. Oh, uh, I mean, like, I suppose... I suppose it wasn't. Like, it was pretty, it was pretty hard. Um, because, like, like a friend of mine, like, we, I didn't move into a share house. Like, we started, at, like, we kind of got our own place. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine from high school. That was um, really hard. And of course, like two 
18 year olds going to high school, no job, no savings, nothing. No rental history. No rental history, <laughs> trying to get a house, like it was it was pretty brutal. Yeah. Um, but we did think it was good. It was more exciting than scary. It was pretty exciting, yeah. It was good. And like I really liked Melbourne, so it wasn't like I was like, oh, mm, Melbourne. Yeah. And again, like I had school, like the reason I was here was because of school. So that was like easy. Oh. But yeah. But yeah. In On our green couch with our backdrop. Do you have to put everyone's face like right here? Oh, I know. Like, no. Like, I'm going to put the... Okay, this one is from Lucy V. Hilton. Shout out to Lucy! Yeah, Lucy. Where do you want to be or... Oh, this is a really tough one. Where do you want to be or see yourself being in 10 years' time? That's brutal, right? 10 way. years? 10 years is a long time. How old will I be? 29. <laughs> I'll be 31. I didn't even know, dude. I was like, there's no way in hell Just I Just a small go. goal. Like, maybe you don't want a new uh, phone. <laughs> That's all I want, actually. My small goal is that in 10 years' time, I'll be living a comfortable, happy life. And, um, um, have some money, honey. Yeah, comfortable. When I say comfortable, I mean, like, I need money. <laughs> and I would really like, um, an animal. I want a cat here. A cat here, a cat here, a cat here. You can have a cat right there. <laughs> can you put a cat right here? I know, I like you for lunch, you know? Yeah. I like me. Oh, I love you. That's our 10 year goal right there. <laughs> She's all we live for. We love you, watch you, love you, watch you. Hey, I'm putting on the whole Willem situation. Ugh. I don't even know the Willem situation. Because you're telling me you watched the whole thing and it was like straight up, he was like, no. But then everyone's telling me that the episode is in and out and everyone's just enjoying it. Let's watch it, because I need to watch it before I can actually make it. Oh. There's a bit of construction oh. across the road. Excuse me, man. Oh. Look, argument about peppermint? Oh, no. Like, um, hello? I, if I was peppermint, I'd take fucking offense to that. For sure. She's straight up saying that she's not a woman. She's straight up saying that she's not a woman oh, right there. Oh, so Because she didn't have tits. Because she didn't have tits on the show, she, that, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. That's what all this boils down to is if you have boobs, you're a woman. Like, how can you be? It's just, it blows my mind. It, this whole entire thing just blows my mind. And, for, and second of all, like, I would say probably like 80% of drag queens most of the time aren't tucking. No. Ah. They're not always tucking. So how is that even an argument? Alright, I'm done. Um, so, my opinion is that it's total bullshit. Um, I'm that 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 just made me completely, my mind. completely like I'm over it. I'm done. None of these queens give two shits. Straight up, and I'm not. I'm gonna keep that in. I'm not editing that out. It's so true, and I'm so over For it. For sure. I'm so over it. I'm so and like William is so. I don't give a fuck. So obviously he's gonna say that. And he hasn't. He hasn't defended himself at all. So like that's just Willem. But I'm just thinking about how many other queens in the industry, not even industry, industry, like Vru girls, yeah. who have the same opinion, but they'll obviously just keep their mouth shut because they know they're gonna. They all they they're gonna f their brand. All of that. them. All of them do. So it's just like f this. And like I get like it's all good. And like of course these queens, these like these these men queens, are like really. It's been like a fight from the beginning, of course. And like it's and they're only just sort of getting recognition. It's only just people mainstream, but now. They may feel like women are kind of coming in and being like just at the end of the race being like oh here we are we've just bypassed the whole entire beginning beginning of the race and it's kind of acceptable now so we, we're coming in i totally get that but the whole entire message behind drag is that anybody can do it and it's acceptance and it's like it's not non-judgmental and this is bullshit. Straight. it like literally blows my mind that willem would say that out of, out of everyone i know willem has that like this type of vibe, but it's like I just never thought it would have been from him. And Willem is so intelligent, and he's always talking so about like he's, he knows all the facts, like about Stonewall and about all the history and everything like that. And just the fact that he's talking like that, and the fact he's talking like that, like about peppermint, and like that is just that's complete bullshit. Oh my god! And it's I think it's ridiculous. Well. And that really just that was the first time I watched it, so I'm like just still processing what the. F if you haven't watched it on full screen, like just go and watch it. And then they always use the excuse that it's just white straight women trying to get into the yeah. spaces. I'm like, women are gay. <laughs> Fun fact of the motherfucking day. But they.
they deserve to be in those spaces as well. Exactly. So like it blows my fucking mind. Exactly. And just like you were saying before, it's 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 they're not considering that these women are most not most likely, but like these women are lesbians and these women are gay and these yeah. women have every single right to be in these spaces as much as these white gay men, not white gay men, but these gay men. Mostly. Willem. <laughs> Willem, at least. Exactly. <laughs> white gay men. That's it. That's our two sets. Okay, so this is another question from Ugly Drag. P.S. Ugly Drag, you just put us on like a bit of a rant then. But I really appreciate you asking that question because yeah. that was... That's the tea right there. Okay, also, another question. Do you think anyone can be successful in makeup drag if they work hard enough? Um, my Just honest like, opinion? Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, yeah, no. <laughs> no. Um, that's not how it works. <laughs> at all. You can work hard enough, but I think timing is always a bitch. Like, oh. we got into, I feel like we got into posting drag looks at a perfect time yeah. for us. I think that's the only reason. That's that the only reason. Yeah. Like either of us are following. It. Yeah, I reckon as well. I reckon as well. Timing. I just, I start, I started like what? It was like three years ago. Yeah. It was like three and years that's ago. That's when more people started getting into it and started watching the videos because they're like, oh, there's actually like a video where I could do it. And like, like imagine, it. Like, like all of you guys watching, imagine now if we kind of just started now. If we had a thousand followers yeah. and stuff, no one would care at all. But like, back in that, there's a proof is that there's so many fucking so amazing, amazing, talented queens out there. Many people. And they have like 500 followers. Yes. Yeah. It's just always timing. Yeah. Um, but that's just our opinions. It's all good. Still do what you want to do. Slightly pessimistic, but it's kind of just the truth. It's just straight up. Okay. Um, another, I'm going to close another Lucy. Lucy's, Lucy's looks. Lucy's looks. This is her Instagram page. Hey, look, it's Lucy. Hey. What? Okay. What? This is a question. What film inspires you the most? From the, what film inspires you the most? For myself, Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's a good one. I like that one. Good. Most movie. Good movie. Um. Inspires I, me the most. Any Wes Anderson movie always really inspires me. The Wes Anderson films were really, really good. My problem with them was I can only watch them once. Yeah. I can't watch them more than once. Oh, I watched Dodge and Limited. Probably like 10 That was good one. Um, Grand Budapest Hotel was really, really good. I can't There's, watch it twice. No, I can't watch it twice. They were very, very good. I liked them a lot. I mean, they're just really aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, that's the reason they inspire me as much as um, I do. But, like, the stuff like the Lady Gaga documentary, like, that's mm, for literally, sure. like, s like, major inspos. Yeah. Major inspos. A lot, of, a lot of music documentaries like that are really good. Documentaries are always just like, I would go back to Annie Leibovitz. Um, documentary. That's a good one. I mean, like the September issue. Um, that one I can't remember the name. The one where they followed those like um, those like el like those old elderly women through like New York, and they were like oh. fashion icons. Oh yeah, yeah. I forget the name of that. I'll put the name here. It was um, the Bill Cunningham one. Was so good. I've watched that so many times. It's a really really good one. These are all on Netflix. Heaps of them are on Netflix. So that's like documentaries. Okay. Next question. From Saint underscore underscore Jack. Um, what is the first picture of you in drag? <laughs> <laughs> Insert. Oh, yeah. oh my god! No wait, how do you find it? I know what mine is. Um. Okay. Next question is from Fashion. Fashion a Blair. Fashion a Blair. Okay. What Same. projects, looks, ideas that you have always wanted to do, but are too scared to do? <clears throat> Okay, there's none that I'm too scared to do, it's just like I'm too lazy to do. <laughs> I mean, at this point, like, those sorts of ideas are, like, fairly outlandish. And, like, not, like, very realistic to just, like, do one of those sorts of looks, you know? Like, what do you mean? Well, like, um, I don't have any just, like, like makeup looks that I, I haven't done. If I if I wanted to do one, I would be on that shit film yeah. I'm always trying to find stuff to do. For sure. That's not happening. But good question, thanks for that question, so we can answer it more in depth. Next question is from. God, I like. Do you follow her Instagram? Yeah. Like she's so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> no, I actually don't follow her. Did you unfollow her? I'm kidding. Oh. Anyway, we were talking about Auntie Garland. <laughs> oh my God! Hashtag cute. Who do you like most about your? What do you like most about your old sister? <laughs> uh, well, well, oh, oh God. Oh. Anyway, next question. Punch in the face. True. Okay, next question. Beyond Dot Shay. Good one. 
Beyonce. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's a good name. Um, um, who is are your top queens to meet in person in terms of drag race? Um. Okay. So, fun fact of the day: me and Lucy met RuPaul. Oh, we like we didn't meet RuPaul. We danced with RuPaul. We went to a Mark Jacobs and RuPaul's uh, event before DragCon. And we walked, the first person we saw was RuPaul. It was me, Sophie, um, the two the two creators of Drag Race and RuPaul just dancing. It was the five of us. It was it so funny. It was like, funny. like literally an hour because no one else was there because we got there really, we got early. really early. And we just walked in and he was like, DJ. And then he came out and started dancing with us. And, and then the next person walked through the door, Dina Ritz. <laughs> <laughs> like, we were just like in the room alone with them for like an hour. And then people started piling in, like all the queens. And yeah, then Michelle yeah. came, and then like Todrick was there, and then Mark came. It was one of those moments where everyone was up against him, and everyone was going up yeah. to him, and you just didn't want to be that asshole. Who was like, oh my god, RuPaul! Like it wasn't. It wasn't like obviously like a, a, the the crowd was like all like fans because there were people you had to go and buy. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But still, it had that vibe. It had that vibe because he was just like there. He wasn't like yeah. He was literally, oh, and he's a really good dancer. <laughs> he was like killing it. He was a very, very so good dancer. So I feel that I like literally dance with RuPaul. I, I don't need to meet anyone else. I. That's my thing. I'm just like, I, we, you kind of met the head honcho. Yeah. We met the, we we met met the queen. We, we met, met the mum. Yeah, yeah. So everyone else is kind of like, cool, so let's go to bed now. <laughs> okay, next question. This is from Kobe underscore Flobbits. I don't know who that is. Hey, um, Kobe. <laughs> Um, Q and A question. Why don't you love me? <laughs> uh, hmm. uh, um. Okay. So, um, the reason I don't love you is because you confessed your love for Kylie Jenner on Facebook, and so how can I love someone who's gonna cheat on me like that? Oh yeah, I saw that. But I was like, damn, I didn't know Kobe was a Kylie boy. I have to say, Kobe, if you're watching this, I'm very impressed because someone, some like douchey guy, like whoever it was, I don't know, was like, yeah, who cares, she's ugly, and Kobe commented back, factually incorrect. That is true. She is not And ugly. I was like, that's so true, and like, no, like, I don't know any other boy who would say that. For some bizarre reason. For some bizarre reason, people, like, boys have a, uh, have not really out for Kylie Jenner, but Kobe, you don't, so that's why I... <coughs> Um, that's a reason why... I feel like love is a very strong I word. I do love you. Um, love. I enjoy you. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie's not quite at the love stage, but she'll get there. A few more comments. I have, I have commitment issues. A few more, a few more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> C dot blue. I have a question. Is Garland both of your real name or drag name? Because it's also known to be pretty legendary with Judy. Three. Two, one, we are! <laughs> We're not related to Judy Garland. And oh my god, that was my last question. <laughs> but no, that was it. That was a pretty good amount of questions. They were good questions, weren't they? Yeah, they were good questions. Thank you so much, everyone, for asked us questions. Hopefully, we answered you. How, many, how long have we been doing this for? Oh my god, like three hours. <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, we really appreciate it. Please let us know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this because we will be back, we will be back next week if you guys enjoyed this. Well, um, I really don't care if you watch, I'm not going to need your money, so you, you guys can... No, well, head over to Instagram, actually. Leave us a video, head over to Instagram. If we are back next week, it won't be such a long video, we'll probably just talk about like, uh, talk about like hot topics or like whatever, we can do like hot topics. Hot topics. Anyway. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe if, you, if you're not because as I said in my last video, I need to take up to a beauty guru status. I don't know how many subscribers you guys are not pulling through. Also, like, this whole shame of, like, not telling people to subscribe. I'm over it. Please subscribe. I'm like, just do it. Please subscribe. Please like because that also helps. And please sit through the ads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm poor. I'm really poor. Anyway, also, if you guys are ah. not, if you guys are not so, signed up to my Patreon, please sign up. I have a video coming out soon. I'm um, going to explain to you guys about the new reward system um, because I'm like coming up with rewards, so there's more incentive for you guys to go sign up because you're actually getting something. You're like a real YouTuber. Can you shut up? For a <laughs> um, so that is it. Again, thank you guys for watching. Do you have any party words? Uh, I don't have any questions. Do you don't have any party words? I'm waiting for No, my party words are. Um, these are my party words. Pull out the coin. He is lonely. He's a lonesome. Okay, you can't do it. Anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm also going to see you guys next time. Bye.